question 8. You know, the biggest question right now that is being asked is, what is the problem with the opposition? Because there might be a Gandhian ideology. Nobody is denying that Gandhi is the father of the nation. But there is also a huge set, as there are critics of uh, Mr. Savarkar as well. And those who do agree with the ideology of Mr. Savarkar feel that he hasn't quite got his due. And the example of which is him being on the cover of this particular magazine. So first and foremost, the culture department goes and prints something in this magazine. There are 13 chapters, I think, on Mr. Savarkar. Tera lek un par likhe hai, ek lek Mahatma Gandhi par likha hai. Aapko itna hi Savarkar ji ko dikhana tha, to apni organizer mein, panch janne mein, jo aapki Nagpuri kitab hai, us mein dikha te. Why do you need the legitimacy of the Mahatma? Because this is being printed, I'm told, in the Gandhi Smriti Darshan Sansta uh, publication. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is, I think the grandson who was here just said, Mahatma Gandhi ne maafi mangi hai. Mahatma Gandhi ka ek shabd likha hua dikha de ya bola hua dikha de, jahaan par Gandhi ne ya Nehru ne ya Sadar Patel ne ya Bhagat Singh ne maafi mangi ho. Likhit mein maafi mang kar ye tak kaha gaya hai, that I apologize, I will not be a part of the freedom struggle. I only want to ask people who are supporting Savarkar, I have nothing personal against the man, but I will ask. There was a Dandi march, there was a non-cooperation movement, there was a Quit India movement. What was the role he played? He lived in the Ratnagari palace of the British between 1924 to 37. All his life, he lived per month, rupees 60, on a British pension. So what are we talking about here? To speak about the Mahatma and him in the same breath is actually undermining India's freedom struggle, undermining the father of the nation. और मैं एक बात आपके दर्शकों को और इनके माध्यम से जरूर कहना चाहती हूं यह सिर्फ फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल की बात नहीं है प्रीति महात्मा गांधी ने सिर्फ आजादी की लड़ाई नहीं लड़ी थी महात्मा गांधी एंश्योर दैट द दलित्स गॉट अ से एंड अ प्लेस एट द हाई टेबल ही एंश्योर अनटचेबिलिटी वॉज रिमूव इन इंडिया ही एंश्योर वुमेन वर गिवन दे ड्यू ही एंश्योर रीजनल पार्टिसिपेशन केम इन सावरकर स्टूड फॉर द वर्ण व्यवस्था Savarkar was anti-Dalit. Savarkar was the first to actually endorse a two-nation theory even before Jinnah spoke about it in 1940. Savarkar spoke about a two-nation theory in 1937. He never called Bharat Mata. He always said Bharat Pita. He was anti-women. So I'm sorry to say, okay. let us not undermine the Mahatma because you want to make Savarkar shine. Because right. undermining Mahatma not just undermines the man himself but the ideology and the freedom struggle and the reforms that he stood for, which is the bedrock of our democracy and our... But Mr. Nade, there are, there are many versions of history, like uh, there are critics uh, of uh, Sabarka, there are critics of the Mahatma as well on many points, especially, you know, as I'm reading it, there are many, it could be his take on Bhagat Singh, there are lots of troublesome, uh, you know, parts in our history which concern the Mahatma as you well, but that aside... You can take it on with me. You know, no, nobody, it's, we are not you debating. You can take it on with me, I'm we're willing to answer some right, of the we're not, we're not that need to be busted. Okay, Mr. Nate, stay with me. I want to bring in Guru Paswan as well, as well as Uday Mahurkar. Uh, Dr. Paswan, the question is, one can understand that there is um, a deep sense of appreciation of Mr. Savarkar by a certain set in India who feels he never quite got his due. But to put him on the cover of a magazine that is dedicated to the Mahatma, who I think one thing we all will accept had polar opposite ideology than Veer Savarkar is a cruel joke on the father of the nation. Ji, I was patiently listening to the observations of the previous speaker and Tushar Gandhi ji as well. Uh, first of all, we must understand that uh, we are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. And uh, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is also an acknowledgement to all the unsung heroes of our freedom struggle. Point number one. Today, as we debate, is the 104th birth anniversary of Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela's birth anniversary was celebrated at the same place called the Gandhi Smriti Darshan Nyas. Are we trying to dilute the legacy of Gandhi by celebrating Mandela? Obviously not. Second point, there is a letter in front of me. The letter categorically says, Veer Savarkar's daring defiance of the British government has its own important place in the annals of our freedom movement. I wish success to the plans to celebrate the birth centenary of this remarkable son of India. This is Indira Gandhi, the former Prime Minister of India. She has written this about Veer Savarkar. Point number two. Third point. Constantly, they are saying that vicious ideology. 
people are saying that he was the forecast structure i challenge on your show tonight give me one evidence give me one footnote where veer savarkar was forecast system all his life he has struggled for temple entry of dalits the ratnagiri temple entry movement he said that the caste system must go lock stock and barrel what sort of lies are we propagating one point agenda of the post independence historian was to promote only one family that only one family uh, is responsible for the feed of our country that is an absolute falsehood okay. which is being propagated by the academic establishment of our country for decades point number 2 there is also baba saheb ambedkar in gandhi samiti the darshan nyas baba saheb ambedkar and mahatma gandhi had a lot of uh, differences so if the point is not that in a democracy dissent is the essence there okay. must always be a space for discussion and debate in a democracy so this falsehood no. this agenda this propaganda okay. must be exposed and let's have a debate let's have an academic debate 